Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka, Kodash Barakatham. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. It's going to be a quick lesson based on 1 Peter 5 and 6 through 9. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of, of God, that he may exalt you in due time. And uh, as soon as you sign up for this truth, you signed up to humble yourself, man, to catch hell, to take L's, and to uh, just deal with it. And, you know, be spiritual instead of carnal, man. You know, to be carnal is to defend your flesh. All right? But to be uh, spiritual is to humble yourself, man. To believe in a power that you can't see, man. You know, even though you, at this present time, catching hell. You know? And um, while you're thinking that, you're thinking like, I'm the only one catching hell. You know, my hell is worse than anybody else's. You know? As the, uh, you know, as the Elder Yashawamba said, man, you're not the only one catching hell, man. We all catching hell. Because we at the, the point where this place is going down and the time of Jacob's trouble is coming in, man. So Yahweh Shah wants to get us prepared for, for when he comes back, man. You know, those of the hopeful elect. You know? And, and if you're being chastened, it's because the Most High loves you. All right? So don't complain. All right? Or give heed to these, these demons, man. All right? Because Yahweh Shai humbled himself. All right? He humbled himself so he could receive the blessings that Yahweh had in store for him, man. For him to sit on his right hand. For him to receive uh, uh, all glory for everyone on the earth, from from everyone on the earth. The scriptures say in Romans the fourteen chapter that all, every every knee shall bow and confess that Yahweh Shah is the Lord. You know. But uh, before he did that, he had to catch hell, man. You know. And um, you know, catching hell. You know. <laughs> Like, say we at work, you catching hell from your boss, that, that make the day seem way longer, man. You know? But Yahweh Shah said, this is a little season, the scriptures say. You know? He said, in little, um, though ye go through manifold temptations. I forgot, it's uh in Peter's. You know, basically, though we go through man manifold temptations, it shall be found in glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. I believe that's uh First Peter's the first chapter. You know, so, you know, it's important. It's given unto us to humble ourselves and to be spiritual. All right. And another thing about humbling, humbling yourself is that it makes you want to get out of here even more, man. You know, you don't care about the things of the flesh. You care about the things of the spirit because you know that's the only thing that could uh, make you happy, man. You know, and that helps you, uh, as the scriptures also say in Luke the 21st chapter, and your patience possess your souls, you know. And uh, tribulation work with patience, man. And then that, so when we catch in hell, we work in patience, therefore possessing our souls, man. You know? Then it makes it easier knowing that this world about to go through crazy hell. But we, Lord willing, we, of the hopeful elect, we're going to be good. Okay? All right, so it's hell now for the heaven later. You know? You're going to catch hell now, or you're going to catch it later, man. No, you hear brothers, they may say the same thing, but I look at it this way. You know, hey, look, this world got to go throughout the four corners of the earth, so it don't really matter. You know? It says, uh, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Okay? So we casting our cares upon the Heavenly Father, for he cared for us. You know? He didn't. Yahweh shot care for us that he gave his only. I mean, Yahweh care for us that he gave his only begotten son whom he loved okay all right and for you know so he cared for us that much man all right that he gave his only begotten son man he didn't put us away in all our iniquities every time we went off the most i could have just you know did away with us he gave our blessings to someone else all right like uh ezra said it i believe uh yeah jeremiah said it all the hell they went through like jeremiah had a book of uh Lamentations. All right, all the hell they went through, they, they, you know, they said one key thing that they deserved it because they have sinned. You know, it, um, I believe Lamentations three and twenty one. I will bear the indignation of the Lord for I have sinned. Okay, but then once the Lord puts you through something else, all right, in which case you're still in the truth, you're still following the Lord, you're happy. 
because he got you through before, he's gonna keep continue to get you through, man. If you have faith, you know. That's why the scriptures say it is good for a man to both quietly hope in the Lord, you know. Because um, you know, you can't really complain. The Lord getting you through. You know, throughout the manifold temptations that you you think you or you think that you can't get through, the Lord is getting you through. And how, way rougher times is coming. You know, so hey, the water y'all watching y'all shot for preparing our spirits, ready our spirits, you know. I believe that's a Mahara car in the Hebrew. Okay, it says be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So you may have them, uh, you know, uh, demons play, playing upon your head as if your hell is more than everybody else's, man. So they can't relate, you know. And when you think like that, you, you, you start to believe that there's no help when there's always help, man. Okay? And um, like I said, uh, men... Righteous men of old have went through it, but they've uh, remained uh, a humble, faithful. You know, everybody loves a faithful woman. You know, so how much more the heavenly Father, man? His gifts is enormous. He said in the scriptures, "If uh, you being a uh, carnal, something to that extent, know how to give gifts, how much more the heavenly Father, man?" All right, so we just got to hold on to our faith. As precept, um, verse nine: Who, whom so resists that fast in the faith, knowing the same, knowing, it's like you. Whom resists in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in you, brethren, that are in the world. So, uh, you know, Salaki like for speaking so fast, but I'm trying to uh, work and <laughs> do a lesson. So, um, yeah, man, you know, we all catching hell, even though two thirds in the world. You know, I was just at the store today, and I seen this eating my talking hella shit to this uh this nigga woman, but she couldn't say nothing because she was at work, man. You know, the part of uh the nigga woman, they they feel like they always obligated all the tribes really. They feel like they always obligated to run their mouth, man. You know, so we all catching hell, man. But we catching it, all right, for the hope for the Lord, man. All right, for His men to be built up, man. For us to be built up. So with that, blow willing, Occam's edified. So long.